Alright, good evening guys. This is just going to be a very, very quick tutorial on how to do an SSH server session with your Raspberry Pi to enable the wireless capabilities of it. Here highlighted you can see you will be using PuTTY. This is a terminal, so to speak, and you will need all the relevant information about your wireless passkey. Over here, we have our little Raspberry Pi hooked up directly to the Ethernet cable. Luckily for us, we know what the IP address is of this as we've already loaded it up. Currently we don't have it connected into a telly as it's currently broken. Okay, oh, right. Two more secs. So what we are going to do is we're going to open PuTTY, which is our server session. Click run that. Sorry about the camera quality on this one, guys. Okay, so I'm going to click on Expian because I've already set this up. You will need to enter all these manually. Click load, which will give you the IP. And then we're going to click open, which will open a terminal session as it's trying to connect it. Sort of remote access. The actual login name will be Xbian. And the def default for um, your Raspberry Pi, the password will always be Raspberry until you change it. It doesn't show what your password is on this, so. And sorry about the unsteady hand, been a long day at work. Do apologise. Alright, so password. Alright, I'm going to click enter on that and see if we load up. There we go, very quick. All the XP telling us that we have logging in. Alright, it's just logging up now. And then it will ask us to enter all the information we need from here. You can change um, settings, services, packages and check for updates. Never advise an update until you check that the distro is fine. For this we are going to want to... Alright doesn't let us sort these, alright, um, so yeah, from here you will need to, I'm just going to click on this one first of all, can't remember exactly where it is, considering it's been a while, alright, press number 2, see if it lets us, ah, there we go, so there we go, got it right, um, local area network and wireless local area network settings, click on this, um, or press number 3 even, <laughs> get this open, then you can change it to your pre-designated key, alright, so, hope this helps and then as you've done this and reboot it all your wireless capabilities and your dongle will be registered no need to buy the ones that they recommend you are able to do it this way all right thanks again hope you enjoyed the film